Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. It is a gloomy day, it is getting cold outside, and so I have been in the kitchen cooking up a few things, and I thought I would share a recipe with you, and it is homemade butterfingers using candy corn. So a couple months ago, I purchased a bunch of candy corn, and we have been nibbling on it here and there, and I have quite a lot of it left. So I found a recipe using candy corn, and so I thought I would try it. So I hope you enjoy this video. I have cut this recipe in half because it's just Leon and I. So I used one and a half cups of chocolate chips, one and a half cups of candy corn, and one and a half cups of peanut butter. So you're milk. going to melt your candy corn in the microwave in 30 second intervals. You're gonna stir in between the, the uh, intervals. This is going to take about two minutes. is going to go in going next and you have to do this quickly so you're going to mix in peanut butter a small batch I went ahead and transferred it to this little pan <laughs> we're gonna put it in the ice box for 30 minutes so in the process I'm making pull apart garlic bread I uh, would we'll check that the new gun see how it was working that's the first shot I made on the target which gun was you using I used that 35 whaling the new one. What you got? That's the new 35. You like it? Oh, I love it. It's nice. Come in here in the light where we can see it. 35 whaling. In the, the bulls are just setting it with the bore site. Hmm. Very nice. So right on the edge, top edge of the bulls are. That's that 75 yard. So. Hmm. While we're waiting on the candy, we're going to take out the bread. <laughs> Pull apart garlic bread. It looks good. Where is that garlic bread? Pull another one off. Okay, so I'm gonna eat some with his soup. There we go. All right then. Bon appetit. Okay, so while Leon eats his uh, soup, and these rolls right here are delicious, I will show y'all how to make them on a, a different video. But right now we're gonna go ahead and get our candy. I went ahead and put it in the um, freezer to kind of speed up the process, but you don't have to. So what you do is you are going to cut your candy into bars of uh, squares, however big you want. And this is how thick it is. You can make it thinner. So I'm going to do it like this. I 
I'm going to stick them in the ice box while I melt my chocolate because you want to keep these refrigerated because uh, they will tend to get a little melty, it says. I'm not quite sure because they're pretty good. But um, let me melt the chocolate and then we'll take them back out and we'll dip them. But here we go. 30 second intervals. <laughs> We're laughing, you guys, because our microwave is going out. Show them. Show them. You got to be kidding. Turn it back on. Look what it's doing. Okay, turn it off. We've had it since we were in the RV, haven't we? <laughs> the reason why we're laughing is because of this. Yesterday. The reason why we was laughing was yesterday, the hot water heating element was bad. So I went purchase a new element and come to find out that the tank is rusting out. So we didn't take a chance of that blowing up. Yeah, so we had he had to put in a new hot water heater uh, last night because he didn't like the way this looked. We don't know how that happened. It's only, what, four years old? Four years old. So I guess because it's a state Scott and we purchased a what? We purchased a... A.O. Smith. A.O. Smith. So yeah, that's why we're laughing. Now we need a new microwave. <laughs> okay, so and we're gonna do it on the, the double boiler, which y'all know what that is. You put water at the bottom and you slowly melt your chocolate. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Okay, it is, if you can't get your melt chocolate to, to start melting actually, you add just a little bit of vegetable oil or cocoa butter. We added just a little bit of vegetable oil and it's starting to melt. So then you take out your bars that you made, you put them in the chocolate, and then you take it out, and then you place it on your dish. I'm done. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna stick it in the ice box to cool for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna take it out and try it. So let's go ahead and take it out. Here they are. Ooh, they look yummy, yummy. I wonder if they taste like Butterfingers. So I guess if you're going somewhere, you can actually take these off and put them on a, you know, decorate them on a different plate because they look quite messy, but I'm gonna try it. I'm going to get Leon to try it. Yeah, I've been eating all day. All right. Give me your honest opinion if it tastes like a, a Butterfinger. Mm -hmm. What's the texture? It's like a Butterfinger. Does it taste like a Butterfinger? Let me taste it. Surprisingly enough, it does taste like a butterfinger. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. How? I wonder if they use candy corn in the butterfingers. Must do. I don't know. It's very good. It's very sweet. That's what it looks like. It was a very messy dessert to make, but I have a lot of candy corn, and I think I may. <laughs> He's eating the chocolate. Well, I'm getting another piece. I just want to get the whole thing. Try this again. But you want to... You like that, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You want to store it in a container and keep it in the ice box until it's ready to serve. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and let you go. Oh, Lord. I'm going to have to hide them. Huh? I'm going to put on 10 pounds. <laughs> He's going to put on 10 pounds. Very easy recipe. Good. If it wasn't for the microwave going out, but that's okay. We're going to go to Walmart after church tomorrow and purchase another microwave. We love you guys. And until next time, we will see you on the next video. God bless. Bye, guys. You eat? Oh, you put... <laughs> I thought you was eating two at one time. <laughs>